Cancer. Cancer is a dreaded disease. The moment anybody is diagnosed with cancer, it shatters the family as well as the patient. So, to treat cancer, to go through the journey, the patient as well as the family, they need somebody to hold their hands and to guide them all throughout the journey, right from the time of diagnosis, post-treatment also. Realizing this, Manipal Hospital, they floated a WECAN division. What is this division? This division is a team of survivors, cancer survivors as well as cancer caregivers who hold the hands of the cancer patients and their family all throughout the cancer journey. So as the wellness team we think that uh, cancer treatment and support for the cancer treatment uh, should be divided into three parts, right? One is uh, at detection, uh, the other is during treatment and then one is after treatment. So typically what happens uh, at diagnosis is that patients and their families are completely lost. It's something completely new for them to be dealing with. Whether it's understanding medical terminologies, whether it's getting confused because of things written on Google or you know getting multiple opinions from friends and family Somewhere it's helpful, but a lot of it really confuses them and they need someone to explain to them what is the right way of looking at things, what is the right information they need at this point in time, because the first treatment is the most important treatment. So the right knowledge needs to be given to them so they can make the right decisions to try and make sure that the patient can recover. Once the patients and the families have accepted that you know there is cancer and they need to deal with it the next set of challenges begins to hit the patients and the families during treatment so whether it's during surgery you know during chemotherapy or during radiation there are different kind of challenges the patients face so for example a breast cancer patient having mastectomy right creates a lot of emotional stress they don't feel like going out into society. For example, even during chemotherapy, losing your hair, looking different, feeling different. There's a lot of anxiety, there's a lot of side effects, you know, that take place. They don't know how to deal with it. They're lost to the do's and don'ts, hygiene, what to eat, not to eat. So there are a lot of things that, you know, need to be taken care of while treatment is going on and the patients need someone who's constantly holding their hand through this entire process so the families and the patient are not lost. Also there's tremendous amount of emotional trauma that a patient and the family go through while treatment is going on be it because of physical changes, be it because of the treatment or the nature of you know this kind of stress that they're going through so there are so many different reasons that they need emotional support and hand-holding throughout their treatment. We can team, they take care of the patients both emotionally as well as physically. So uh, during the treatment, even right from the time of diagnosis rather, emotional requirements are very, very high. During the treatment, physical requirements also come in because of the side effects of the treatment, the aches and pains that the patient has to go through. Once treatment is over, while it's a time to celebrate because, you know, patients and families have gotten over this battle of cancer, one of the biggest things we found is the fear of recurrence that completely engulfs the patients and their families and they have absolutely no guidance, no knowledge, no direction at all as to what has to be done to avoid recurrence or to live a normal life or to bounce back to a normal life. Some of them don't even want to go back to the normal activities because they feel embarrassed about going back into the society. So as a wellness team, we have curated and put together a wellness care plan which is one of the most important post-treatment guidance and plan for any cancer patient to follow. 
whether it's uh, detailing out when they need to come for their follow-up for the next five years, whether it's the food that they need to have or not, or they shouldn't be having, what exercises they should be doing, you know, uh, some of the vaccinations they may need to take since immunity is lower at this point in time. And also, most importantly, we give them a treatment summary. So it's very, very easy for them to keep a record of what has happened to them throughout their treatment. And also, it's easy for them when they come for a follow-up with their doctors. So all in all, it's a very important plan for the patients and their families to follow, which will make life much easier and much happier for them. In other words, it's a holistic plan that we give, which can help them to lead a very happy, cancer-free life. So that's what we can is doing.